Growers is going to great lengths to keep troublemakers out of their annual spring festival. The church paid $21,000 for a temporary fence. 7 Action News reporter Camila Miri joins us live with more. And Camille, this is an event so many families look forward to each year. A little different this year, though. Well, we're talking about a $21,000 temporary fence, and this festival only lasts three days, so you do the math, $7,000 a day, but organizers say it's worth it. And there was a giant fight, like five kids in the circle and everyone circling them. That was last year at St. Joan of Arc's annual spring festival. We typically have approximately between nine and 12 officers uh, that walk around the park. And now an added feature to keep troublemakers, mostly teenagers, out. A temporary eight-foot-high privacy fence around the entire festival, costing the church $21,000. Noah Stanley and his friend Mike Baker think it's a good idea. I mean, it's a little bit safer for everyone. There's like not a lot of kids like causing trouble in there. In addition to the fence, festival goers now have to pay a dollar to get in, and kids under the age of 18 have to be accompanied by an adult after 6 p.m. And so we just thought it was about time to really do what most other festivals are doing, you know, putting up fences and having greater crowd control. And it's really been a very positive experience uh, for us this year already. But reaction to the fence is mixed. I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's terrible. How come? I don't know. It just, it looks terrible. It's, I, I went to school here, so it's a lot different than it used to be. I think it's, I think it's a great idea. It's safe too. I like it because I come every year here and my son goes to school here, so. I think it's, it's worth it, every penny. In St. Clair Shores, Camille Amiri, 7 Action News.